Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to another new video. So today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to change Sims 3 pack files into package files, and how to merge your package files. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Sims 3 pack multi-installer. I will have a link for that down below. Same with the other program that I will be using. As you guys can see here, I have a bunch of Sims 3 packs that I haven't yet fixed. I'm going to go ahead and put them into the designated folders that I have made. Makes it a lot easier for me to have it organized like this. So we're just going to go ahead and put them into the folders. And then we will get started. So here I have the multi sim silly pack extractor. And I'm going to go into browse. And I have, as you guys can see here, I've got these multi, like random numbers. So those are extracted uh, files from the Sims 3 pack into package files. They don't go as a name or anything, it's just all random numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Sims CC and open up the Aid and Alesso folder. And it'll go to my extracted folder that I have created. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Extract. So as you guys can see here, I have the random number generator, no, not random generators, but like my files all in random numbers. I'm going to go ahead and actually, before I do that, I'm going to come into my file and delete all of these files here. And then the ones that I just extracted, I'm going to go ahead and put into that folder. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. I'll go ahead and fix that in a second. But, um, I'll expand that out a little bit. And I will go and put those into the folder that I have for Aid and Alesso Creations. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same with Kazi because, or KZ, I'm not sure how that one's pronounced exactly. Because that is where I also had something. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and delete all of those. And go ahead and place all of the extracted folders into my folder for the creations I have from them, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep on doing the same thing for all the ones that I just added more to. So it's pretty simple for this. This isn't really a complicated part. Um, if you guys don't know why merging CC is a good thing, it helps your game instead of lag. It doesn't have to read as many folders, it just reads it as one. So it's a lot help like it's really helpful for stopping lag. And I just felt like making my Sims 3 packs into package files because that's typically what I use nowadays. I don't really use Sims 3 packs. I have very few select ones. So I am just kinda of talking while I'm going ahead and doing this. But I only have like very few uh Sims 3 pack files now because before, I felt like it kind of lagged my game. As you guys can see here in my others folder, I have a lot. They're just kind of random creators that I don't really have a lot of downloads from that I have, like, very few. But I'm going to keep on going. I just finished there. I'm going to go ahead and do Nightcrawler next. And it's going to go ahead and read everything and put it into a package file. So then once it's done that, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Nightcrawler folder because, you know, where else would it be going? And then I'm going to skip over my other folder for right now and go to Sims 2 FanBG. Go ahead and extract them because my other folder, as you guys saw, I have got a lot. So it'll take a bit longer, so I figured to do the smaller ones first. And then now I'm going to go ahead and do my others folder. And it's just going to extract all of them. And there we go. And now I'm going to close out of that, and this program did install correctly. Ignore that, sorry. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put all of these files into my other folder. As I said before, the links for all the programs that I'm using for package files and the multi-installer will be linked down below. So now that I have done that, I'm going to open up, I believe it's called S3PE, which is another um, program, as you guys can see it here. So now what I am going to do, I'm going to go to File and click on New. Then you right click and go down to Import, and you're going to go to As DBC. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's how you do it. 
as you guys can see that's what I did before. So now I'm going to go to my extracted folder and I'm going to select everything in my aid and Alessa folder. So it's going to read all of that and then it's going to ask you where you want to put it. So I'm going to go, I completely just did this wrong, ignore me, sorry. I'm going to, where did I put it? Um... Alright, so I'm going to go into the EA folder in Documents, and I'm going to open up my Mods folder for The Sims 3. I'm going to just kind of move that over. I'm going to go into Packages. We're going to go into my Sim CC file, and I, you guys can see here, I have a Sims package file. So then I have it all split up, and I'm going to go ahead and type in the same name that I have here. I just put it in brackets. It makes it easier, and I just put all. So now it's going to go ahead and open up all of those and extract them into one giant package file. Um, depending on the file size, it can kind of take a while, depending on how much stuff you have. And you don't want to have it, like, a lot of stuff. Like, I think the biggest folder I have for, um, all of my package files in one, I think it's like 78 megabytes or something like that. You don't want to have a high number. If you ha reach a certain number, go ahead and do a second one. I'm going to say maybe make 70. Eight, maybe the highest. Whoops, I just went to my YouTube. Hey, you guys are seeing my subscriptions. But I was going to go back to this so you guys can see that it, at the bottom it's important. But if you go over 78 megabytes, if you guys don't know how to check that, right click on the folder and go to properties and it will tell you the size. Go ahead and make a second one for everything else. Put it into a second folder and do it that way because it will not, it will lag and read it kind of more slowly which isn't what you want to do. And as you guys just saw there, there was a bunch of random numbers. You guys don't need to know what any of that means. I don't know what any of it means. But it just shows you that your package files have successfully worked. And that's basically all you really have to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open I'm just going to show you guys here real quick. So this is my others folder. As you guys can see the size, it's about 78.8 .8 megabytes. That is the biggest one that I have. I wouldn't suggest going any higher for your sizes. And I'm going to, I just went ahead and off camera did the rest of my, I'm going to do them all off camera the rest of the Sims 3 packs because I showed you guys how to do all of that. I'm going to go ahead and organize the new ones that I have here that I downloaded off Tumblr. My Tumblr is down in the description if you guys are wondering. That's where all this is from. So I'm going to go ahead and organize all my stuff into the folders it's supposed to be in. And then I'll start with clothes. I'm going to put all my Spectacle Chic stuff into its folder. All the rest of this is going to go into the random other folder because I don't have a lot of things from that. And I'm going to go ahead again and click on new. And then I'm going to go to import as DBC. As you guys can see here, that's one of my files. I'm going to go into my package files folder that I have here. Go to close. And I'm going to open up the spectacle cheek. So as you guys can see here, there's all of your package files that you should have. I'm going to go ahead and open all of them into one. Then it's going to go ahead and open up again and I'm going to go back into the EA folder go to my mods go to packages sim cc I'm going to go to close and go to the spectacled chic folder that I have in there so now I'm going to go ahead and use the same name that I have I'm going to replace it because now it's going to be a new folder uh, well not a new folder a new package and that's honestly all you really have to do. This is my others folder. As you guys can see, there's not a lot there. I'm going to go ahead and do my others folder now that the other one was done. I'm kind of cutting off in camera so that you guys don't have to see me do the same thing all the time. But I'm just going to keep repeating the process. Go to my others folder in my clothes and type in the name that I want to use. I put it in little um, parentheses because it makes it easier for me. And as you can see here, it's done. And I'm going to go ahead again. I'm just going to keep showing you guys just because, just making sure that you guys get it. I'm going to go into my hair, and as you guys can see, I haven't put these in this folder yet. So I'm going to go and put these in the plum bulbs folder, that in the other folder. So I'm going to go ahead. I, my other's folder doesn't have a lot. Plum blobs has quite a bit. I like the hair textures. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all of the hair that I have for plum blobs. 
into a as the DBC and then that's I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here real quick I cut off again but um I'm gonna go into my spectacle cheek and as you guys can see it's one package file makes your game a lot easier it stops lag but uh, yeah, so that's how you merge your CC and change Sims 3 pack files. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in my next one since I'm ending this one here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!